Alright, we got the Instapot here, which, um, yeah, they say that this thing is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I decided to hop on this train because, you know, I want a faster way to cook some beans and not have to leave it in the crock pot all day and do all that and then it take 2,000 decades just to make some burritos. So yeah, what I did was I just kind of threw it in and put the water in with the beans and that went pretty well. I ended up having to click the soup and broth button because this is the older version of the Instapot and all the tutorials that I look up are the newer versions which makes me kind of feel like I don't know what I'm doing but I mean hey it's kind of a learning curve anyway I would guess. I don't know. Um, right now I just kind of got it on the manual so to speak because the beans were already cooked. I almost burnt them twice because all the water cooked out. Like I said, I didn't put enough water. So I had to keep on adding water and everything. And, um, you know, I got them fairly cooked. And I just put in my nice little tomato mixture with the um, colorful peppers. Green, yellow, red. Not orange this time, honestly. But anyway, um... Of course, I put in some onions, some garlic, and just kind of blasted it up in the Nutribullet and dumped it in there with the nice little beans, and it smells really good, and I actually threw some kale in there because, uh, yeah, I want to make some burritos and see how it comes out this way. Um, yeah, wish me luck, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Yay, I'm back with another voiceover because all the audio on the rest of the videos got all messed up, which is completely terrible, but you get to listen to me talk some more. So yeah, as you can see, this is the end of the phase in which that I waited the last 10 minutes of cooking the bean mixture with the neutral blasted vegetables plus the kale, and now it is finished, but it's a little bit soupy looking, so I want to kind of let it soak up some of the water a little bit more, and yeah, it's boiling and cooking and doing that. But all in all, this only took me about, I'm going to say, 40 minutes to an hour to cook beans, dried beans from dry. And, <laughs> you know, that's really, really impressive. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely quite a learning curve with this whole Instapot thing. But it definitely does the beans just like they said they do. And that's pretty impressive because usually I'd be sitting around with the crock pot you know, all day and waiting for it to finish and all that kind of stuff and just, ugh. But, uh, yeah, ten glorious minutes later, because we love sarcasm, and then, boom, we have the perfect consistency and it is all ready to make some burritos. It's not too wet, not too dry, definitely thickened up a little bit. I like that. We're ready to make some burritos and they're not going to be droopy, soupy burritos either. So, uh, yeah, let's get those shells ready, and we got the shells from the brand Tortilla Land, which I actually got from Walmart, and I hate Walmart with all my hate, but <laughs> those are really good shells, and they're the only shells that I could find that do not have ingredients in it that I don't know how to pronounce. And as you can see, yes, I got some hummus from the store, got some store-bought hummus because I don't know how to make hummus on my own, but uh, it's not too bad, and I'm spreading it on with one hand like a brain-dead idiot because I'm having to use the camera and hold that with my other hand, and I'm having to do this with my other hand, and I don't know, just like the camera and the placement of the kitchen and everything else is just really not working for me right now, which is completely frustrating. But <laughs> anyway, some more time went by because, you know, I had to make everything and be done with it. Yeah, look at that, Tortilla Land. Yeah, go to Walmart. Go to Walmart and get some of that. I hate Walmart with all my hate, but go to Walmart and get some of that. And, uh, yeah, this is the burritos, and this is how they look all folded up. Folded up. And, uh, yeah, my burrito folding game is really weak, and some of them look like they're overstuffed and they're going to explode in the oven. And, yeah, that's the cilantro and jalapeno hummus that I use because I like it spicy, and that's just me. But you could use any kind of hummus you want, any kind of bean mix you want. I'm just showing you how I do it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The oven has preheated to about 375, and I would have put it on 400, but 
my dumb fire alarm thing went off and that kind of psyched me out. So I'm like, okay, let's just leave it on 400 because I left the other pan in. That was totally my fault. And now I'm putting in everything, pushing it to the back, you know, with that glove to make sure I don't burn myself, you know, with like 500 degree burns because I don't want that. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, we're ready at 375. And we're going to let it cook for about 20 minutes, I would say. And you flip it after 10 minutes. Or you could cook it for 40 minutes. I don't know what the heck. I like to get it nice and well done. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, they're very aesthetically displeasing. Because <laughs> I cooked mine for a longer time. But anyway, I can assure you that they taste really good. Because this is how I make burritos all the time. Except for the fact that I use a crock pot. And this, this, and this time I'm using an Instapot. And, uh, yeah, this is a glorious, wondrous Instapot fail. And that is all. Until next time, folks. Later.